Welcome to Sibspot. Today's Reddit posts are from the subreddit, Ask Reddit. Choose a Yellow Fruit asks, What are some funny insults that you need to be slightly educated to understand? There were lots of good ones. Some of them I'm sure you guys have heard. Leah Medra says, I'd agree with you, but then we would both be wrong. 30 Helens Agree says, You are so dense, you emit hawking radiation. Evi Teresa says, You consistently meet my expectations. Paradigm 88 says, There are two kinds of people, those who can extrapolate from incomplete data sets. This is one of my favorites right here, by Werner Rue. I had my shirt open and was in a straw cowboy hat when I was at the pool in Vegas. One buddy commented, Dang, how can you not get laid with that outfit today? Another friend reassured us, Don't worry, he'll show us. Legend of Link 3 says, I'm jealous of people who don't know you. And then to a slightly darker turn, Ask Reddit's Angles Mortz says, What's something that happened to you when you were younger that you still can't explain? I actually have a story in at the end of this one. That's a big reason why I picked this one to be in here. But first, we're going to have a story by Academic Bedroom. I woke up in the middle of the night to a loud thud coming from across my room. When I turned on a flashlight, I saw this big shadow thing move across my closet and TV. Then I noticed that my cat's litter refill was about four feet away, laying on the floor in front of my TV. The refill box was unopened and had been sitting on the top of the litter box, pushed up against the corner of my dresser and wall. I was so confused and freaked out that I ran to my sister's room and slept there the rest of the night. My mom claims it was my cat, but she was asleep on the pillow next to me. Once I saw my mother upstairs. She didn't say anything, and I went down the stairs. After I went down, I realized that my mother is in front of me. I asked, how did you get before me? And she said, stop saying nonsense. I was 11 at the time. This one's a little sad. By self-repair, not care. When I was 11 or so, my friend told me that she was moving states. I went to take some time to process this, and when I was alone, it popped into my head that if she moved... To that state, she was going to die. I said it out loud to myself, and then I started trying to talk her into different plans to not move, like hide in my closet and I'll bring her food, etc. Obviously, no, and she moved. She died shortly after she moved there. That's creepy. It's just like you had premonitions when you were 11. I've heard of such things happening. I've never really had a premonition happen to me. But... I do have a story that still freaks me out to this day. Alrighty, it's time for my own contribution to the story section. When I was about 14 or 15 years old, my mother, father, and brothers left for a night. I forget who they went to visit, but I was home alone this night. My mother told me not to sleep in my bedroom because we had an old furnace in the basement that was making some questionable smells, and the furnace was underneath my room. So I went out to the living room to sleep on the couch instead. The living room has large windows on the right side that let in a lot of streetlight, so I had trouble falling asleep. It must have been two or three in the morning, and I was tossing and turning, and suddenly I hear my cat, Katie, scream from around the corner where I was sleeping. She howled and screamed as if she were terrified of something and ready to fight. Immediately afterwards, I hear this super low-pitched, very low growl, followed by extremely low gurgling or bubbling. It was really slow bubbling at the end. I tried to recreate it with my sound program, Audacity, but I couldn't mimic it exactly, but it's pretty similar to this sound. It was lower as if it was from something huge and the gurgle was slower at the end. I marked the little map I made in paint to show where she was from me and where the stairs were in the room because right afterwards she came into the room I was in with a puffed tail held low to the ground. 
She ran in a few feet, turned around, looked behind her to the doorway near my feet where she'd run from, then turned away and bolted up the stairs around the other corner of the room. I lay there, frozen in sheer terror for the remainder of the night. I didn't move an inch. I never heard another sound or saw anything. Part of me thinks I could have dreamt the whole thing, but I can still hear the sound so clearly in my head, and I remember the event so vividly. All right. That's it for today's Reddit stories. These were shorter, but I definitely wanted to include them since I had my own story to share about this weird experience from when I was young. Until we meet again, have an exemplary day. <laughs>